Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Saturday, March 24th, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, it was eight years ago this week, March 23rd, 2010, that President Obama signed uh, Obamacare, or the Affordable Health Care Act, into law. It had been passed by the Congress, and it was finally signed into law by President Obama. And there was a lot of fanfare, as you would expect, the big ceremony and all that kind of stuff. That's what usually happens when you have a signing like this. But eight years later, you know, nobody's even talking about it. I don't see any anniversary. I don't see any Democrat talking about the anniversary of Obamacare. And that's because Obamacare has failed miserably, absolutely failed miserably. Now, in, the, in this last uh, tax law, the Republicans removed the individual mandate, and that was really the, uh, a backbreaker for Obamacare because without the individual mandate, uh, without people being forced into buying uh, Obamacare, you know, the program will simply die just because nobody will, will use it. The, Obamacare had several problems, or the Affordable Health Care Act had several problems. The first problem, the very first problem was that it was not affordable. It has not been affordable. All you have to do is go to the website. You know, just check it out for yourself. Go to the website, put in your personal information, and see the numbers that come up. The numbers that come up are going to shock you. Not just the premium, but the deductible, the coinsurance. I mean, there's a family here that I know, a young couple with a couple of kids. I mean, their deductible and coinsurance is so high that they've simply decided not to get it. So they'll work out some payment arrangements uh, with their doctor or their hospital or whatever. Now, that's not the ideal situation, I have to admit. Uh, that's not a good situation to have people without insurance. But Obamacare obviously didn't solve that problem. And that's one of the great failures. It would have been better to have provided subsidized insurance for people who really need it, people under a certain income level. I always supported that. Give them tax credits if necessary so people can buy health insurance on their own. They can get their own private policies and so on through, through tax credits. But Obamacare decided to basically create these exchanges, and it has simply not worked out. I mean, it's simply not a doable operation. So that was the first problem. It was simply a bad idea. The second problem is that it was basically a one-party vote. It's a bad idea when one party does something. It's always better when there's some kind of a bipartisan approach. And I, I understand that the Democrats are going to blame the Republicans just like the Republicans blamed the Democrats. I mean, that's a natural thing these days. But I do believe, I very seriously believe, that if President Obama had gone to to Majority Leader Harry Reid, at the time he had a majority in the Senate, and to Nancy Pelosi, who at the time was the Speaker of the House, and said, look, I'm not going to sign anything unless you can get at least half of the Democrats on, on this bill. I think that he, half of the Republicans, that is, had he done that, he said, I'm not signing this thing unless you can get half of the Republicans. So you're going to have to put something in there that satisfies the Republicans or I'm not signing this. I think had, had he done that, this would have been a much better product that would have addressed the issue of taking care of people without insurance, which is something that most Republicans want to do. But at the same time, I think the product, the final product, would have been a much better product than what it ended up being. So eight years later, nobody's really celebrating Obamacare. Now, I understand that there's some people who've been able to get insurance. I get that. But at what cost? That's the real question. At what cost? Well, by destroying an excellent health care system that we have here in the United States, and also, frankly, by damaging President Obama's legacy. That's been the real cost of Obamacare, President Obama's legacy. I also think that there's another legacy of Obamacare, which I think will, will be with us for a long, long time. And that is, I think it's going to be very difficult for any future president to try to come up with any kind of a government program of this magnitude. Because I think a lot of people are going to say, remember Obamacare. So, ironically, President Obama came in trying to create the biggest entitlement, really, by going into health care. And in the long run, he may have actually done uh, his politics a great deal of harm because I, I just simply cannot see any politician ever again coming up with an idea that big. And let me just leave you with one thought. In California, uh, there's a lot of talk about a single pay, a single pay type program. Well, what's interesting is I just read an editorial about this in the Orange County, one of the Orange County newspapers, basically saying that even the Democrats in California are figuring out that you simply cannot pay for this stuff. You know, it sounds real good at the rally. It sounds real good at the Democrat convention. 
But when you do the numbers, it just doesn't add up. So even in California, where they have huge Democrat majorities and have implemented a lot of the Democrat ideas, even in California, they cannot do this because the numbers simply don't add up. Now, I, like many people, believe that we have to take care of those who cannot afford health insurance, whether because they're, you know, they're sick in the pre-existing condition or whatever it may be. I mean, I think we should be able to come up with a solution for those people. We should have catastrophic plans for young people or young families who simply want to protect themselves against catastrophic things. We should have all of those things. And we did, really, before Obamacare came into existence. We had them in the marketplace, but Obamacare terminated many of those policies. So eight years later, no, no one's celebrating Obamacare, and no one will, because it was simply a very bad idea, very poorly implemented, and uh, just a bad idea, just a horrible idea. Let's hope that we can come up with an alternative. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, Texas. We have all of these on YouTube. We have them on Twitter, and we have them on my blog. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a good weekend.